Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today I have four, count them, four semis to review for you guys, each with their own functions and abilities from four different manufacturers. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at these, we're going to go over the shop and check out some of the specs, and then I have a challenge set up for these guys at the end to test their horsepower and see how they can do. So I'm going to come in for landing here and we're going to start off over on the left with what one is this the lizard truck now there's two different skins you can choose from there's an American skin there that looks really good truck looks really good as well and then there's just the uh, the original I guess and you can switch you can choose from a hitch or not and I think there's a hitch on the front too as well if you decide to go that way so this is the lizard truck version 1.0 the file size is 7.1 megabytes the power is 331 kilowatts and 450 horsepower now there's three different engine sizes for this there is a 450 horsepower edition of 500 and a 600 horsepower so the the uh yeah the 331 kilowatts and 450 horsepower these are the specs for the smallest one but we'll go over the shop and take a look at all that so 258,000 for that $520 a day maintenance fee and max speed of 80 kilometers an hour so we will go jump inside and test out a few things very nice looking mod I must say okay there is our hazards, there is our beacons. Go over to my keyboard and check out the lights. Look how nice the lighting system is on that, guys. Really, really sharp. Horn works just fine. Okay, let's jump inside. Yes, there's different camera angles on this too. I'm pretty sure this is. Yes, you got this camera angle here, which is kind of neat. Then you have one on the hood, or on the bonnet, you have one in the back and then one right on the bumper. So that's pretty neat. But I wanted an interior view. So we're all prepared here with a gun and a gas mask in case anything goes down, you know, you need that stuff. And you got a laptop and a can of pop and a magazine and a little lunch pail. Uh, the gauges don't work, but check out the fan. <laughs> the fan spins when you move so that's kind of neat I like that so up in the left hand corner there's no other options I can see there except for that road train which I'm not really too sure what that is let me get out from a distance here and try pressing X no I'm not too sure what that does guys I, that's, I actually just noticed it for the first time right now so We'll leave this for now until we test it out. And we'll head over to the next truck. The next semi. Now, this thing looks kind of boxy and weird, but man, it's pretty powerful. There's two different versions of this. There's a 300 and a 600 horsepower edition. Now, number two. This is the Kenworth Bullnose version 1.0 multicolor. The file size is 12 megabytes. The power is 221 kilowatts and 300 horsepower. Now, that's for the smaller one mind you. Uh, price is $46,500, $25 a day maintenance fee, 83 kilometers an hour max speed. And like I said, there's a 600 horsepower as well. So let's take a little walk around here and we'll just take a look at it before we jump inside. I don't think you can choose anything else besides the color. Up in the toolbox there, there's no extra options, but we will test the lights and stuff. Uh, okay, that's a go. Our, yeah, there's no beacons on this. Okay, our lights work just fine. Yeah, this thing's pretty powerful for the size of it. And the horn. Okay, everything seems to work just fine. Let's jump inside. The speedometer works, but you can't really read it. Kind of weird looking interior, almost looks like a marble dashboard or something, or some kind of weird material. But it's okay looking on the inside, I guess. So let's jump back out 
Is there anything else I didn't mention about that? No, that's about it. So, let's jump out and move on to the next one. Now, this is a multicolor mod too. And I took the dark gray one and it looks pretty good in the dark gray, I must say. That's probably my favorite of the four. But very nice looking truck. So, number three. This is the Peterbilt 579 multicolor. The file size is 19.54 megabytes. The power is 397 kilowatts and 540 horsepower. The price is 167,000 with a $520 day maintenance fee. Uh, 83 kilometer max speed. And I don't believe, I think there's only one version of this, but we will check out the shop stuff in a minute. But very sharp looking truck, semi. Let's jump inside. Test out a few things. The hazards are good. The beacons work just fine. They look pretty good. Okay, we'll try the lights. Nice lighting system. Check that out. Very, very nice. Okay, I'm impressed with that. Uh, the horn. Good to go. Let's jump inside, take a look. Nice looking interior. Very nice. Peterbilt. Nice little cab in the back there. Cool. Speedometer works. Alright. Okay. So that is our Peterbilt. 579. Last but not least, this funny looking truck here. But it looks kind of cool too. It's only a single axle, but it's pretty peppy. Uh, there's, no, there's only one version of this. And this is the Scania T164. The file size is 15.9 megabytes. The power is not listed. The price is 125,000 in the shop with a 20 or a $31 a day maintenance fee. Uh, max speed of 93 kilometers. So this thing can haul, and it just looks very European compared to that one. Know what I mean? But nice little truck, pretty powerful. Too. Well, I don't know how much power it has, but it, it, it's really peppy. Look, it just takes off like a bullet. So, let's test a couple of things. The beacons look really good on this. There is the hazards. Look at the beacons. Very nice. Uh, our lights work just fine. Get some overheads. Okay, let's look in the cab. Yeah, not, not nice. But the outside is nice. The inside is, uh, yeah, not that great. But looks good on the outside. And it's very peppy, man. I find it takes off really fast. So let's go test these out, guys. And we'll start over here with the lizard truck. And we'll take the big one because I do believe this is 600 horsepower. And I have some tippers set up over here. <clears throat> so for these more powerful trucks, I'm going to, I, those purple tippers there are modded, they hold 120,000 liters, and the other red and black one are just regular tippers that have 59,000 in them. So they're all filled with grain, so we're going to hitch on to the bigger tipper here, look, 120,000 liters of canola. And what I'm going to do, for you we're not familiar with the Hobbs farm map right behind the shop here there's a very very steep hill now we're gonna back into the gate behind us and we're gonna see how we do on that hill and there's not a big running distance here either so it's all gonna be up to the horsepower so let's do this we'll take it inside the cab view and let's go 120,000 liters guys do you think it's gonna bog out Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't stop. Just don't stop. Here's the uh, bumper view there. Oh, it's, it's doing it. Slowly picking up some speed now. But that is a heavy haul. All these different camera angles. Yeah, it's, uh, it's doing it. But I mean, that hill is steep. Look at that. Especially like over that little lip there. It's really steep. Then it gets a little better here, but there's still like a pretty good angle there. 
So I'm just going to pull into this next little spot here and we'll jump over to the next one. So that was the lizard truck guys. I'd say that did fairly well on that test. Now, back not to you. Okay, next up on the list is the Kenworth Bullnose. 600 horsepower guys. So let's see how this guy does. And what we'll have to do is bring this guy back down. This is a multi-colored mod. It looks pretty good with this uh, tipper. All purple. So we'll do the same thing. We'll set this guy up. And see how many horses we can drag out of this thing. Alright, let's get straightened up. And Okay guys, let's do this. Inside the cab view and let's go. Come on. Ooh, going down, going down, going down. Oh, it's doing a little bit better actually than the uh, lizard. It didn't seem to go down as low. I think the lizard went down to about three kilometers there. All right, actually yeah, this is a little bit more powerful. That looks pretty good, actually. That uh, complements the purple pretty well. So, he fared a little bit better, but the overall look, I still like the uh, lizard better. Next up, we have the Peterbilt, which you start in the cab when you want. Uh... So, just two more to test here. The old Peterbilt. 579. We'll hook up to the 120,000 liters and see how this fares. This is my favorite of the four for sure. Okay, let's get this guy turned around. Well, we could have backed up there, I suppose. I think this is going to do just about the same as the lizard did. It seems to be driving and handling about the same, but who knows? Who knows? Alright. Oh, she's a bit slow at the start. That worries me. Okay, let's turn into this a little better. Okay guys, let's do this. Inside the cab view, let's go. Not a whole lot of room to build up some speed, but ooh, she's sinking, she's sinking. What's it gonna go down to? Oh, as long as, it, is it gonna stop? No, that's almost the exact same as the lizard, guys. Let's go external here. Yeah, it's creeping, but it's doing it. It's slowly spilled it, uh, building up a little bit more speed. 540 horsepower, not bad. Yeah, it looks good in the dark gray. Like I said, that's a multicolor mod. Looks good with the beacons on it. And we'll just pull him up beside the other guy and we'll test the last one. So with the Scania, yeah, like I said, I am just going to do the 59,000 liter challenge because I know he's nowhere near 500 horsepower. Okay, so we passed the test. Now it's just up to you. So yeah, this guy's really, really peppy. And it looks a lot, it looks pretty different with the single axle. Okay. And the beacons look just cool on it. Just plain cool. Alright, let's get this guy set up. Now, he should be able to do this fairly easily. I don't want to try the 120,000. That seems like it would be a little too much. But, okay, we'll go right now. So I'm not a big fan of the interior of this, but the exterior looks great. Look at that. He's just flying up there with that. Without a problem at all. Look at that. Very nice. 
All right. So they all pass the test. And there you have it, guys. That was my quad semi review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you did. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. I do new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day. So, guys, until next time. Oh, by the way, the uh, info and the links will be down in the description. I almost forgot to say that this time. So, guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one.